through sports, you're building a rapport. Yeah, that's that's my cup of tea. I, I, what I like to do is bring kids together uh, through sports and basketball and soccer and stuff like that. That's my favorite part of it, actually, to be honest. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, there's really not much kids can do, especially in the villages and the communities, except for you know doing work and uh, going to school. And then outside of that, there's there's really nothing to offer the kids. There's very few places for recreation. Very no youth centers. So we're actually trying to develop a youth center in our village right now. So basically, that's how kids here get into trouble because there's nothing for them to do outside of work and school. I think it's, it's that light in their eyes when they, they figure something out. And maybe something that you help them figure out or something that you just kind of nudged along and they, they, they figured it out on their own. That's when they see the light, you know, when they, they realize things aren't, you know, what they thought they were. Or, or it could be as simple as learning how to dribble a basketball or, or shooting a three-pointer for the first time or, or realizing that <laughs> what they're learning in school or some of the things that the government is doing or whatever is, is not necessarily the best thing. You know, just things like that. What do I want to be doing in 10 years? Well, you know, similar to what I'm doing now. Just, I guess, hopefully on a bigger and broader scale. I, I want to help more kids, you know. Right now, it's, uh, most of my work is, is done within my village and within, within my island. And uh, we do good stuff. I mean, we, we work uh, you know, with the sports programs and a little bit of mentoring and tutoring. But I, I, want, to, I want to be able to actually make a difference in, in kids' lives, you know, give them just more, more than just you know, a summer's work of games and stuff. I want to be able to give them a chance to you know, take care of themselves. Basically what I got, you know, a good education and a chance to be able to do what you want to do. Now, on micro sports, it's not often we get to talk about sports beyond just athletic accomplishments. One of our lifetime's greatest humanitarians, Nelson Mandela, seen here holding the World Cup, once said that sport has the power to unite the world, to inspire, to unite people in a way that little else can. In the Federated States of Micronesia island of Chuuk, Keitani Graham was one athlete who certainly lived up to Mandela's claim that sports can make a difference. Keitani Graham began his athletic career as a young student at Xavier High School in Chuuk, and then at the famed college preparatory school Punahou School in Hawaii, whose alumni includes current U.S. President Barack Obama. Keitani went on to become a member of the track team at College of the Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts, where an injury caused him to change his focus to wrestling. Despite his late introduction to sport, Graham was a wrestler. SM, then throughout Oshie, and finally, with him becoming the first wrestler from the United States of Micronesia, where he competed in Greco Roman wrestling at the London Games this past summer. Although he lost in a 185 pound qualifying match to Charles Edward Betts of the United States, Keitani's improbable rise to Olympian is a testament to those that knew his undaunted spirit. When I was in Chuk uh, back in uh, 2008 or 7, I forget the exact date that I was there for a training. I was there to observe the elections for uh, FSM and specifically in Chuk. And I was staying at Truck Stop Hotel. And once Ketani knew I was there, he was there every night and making sure, hey, you have enough, some, you have enough food? Uh, you have enough drinks? Uh, what do you need? What do you want to do? That's the type of guy he was. I know him more as a wrestler. And I know what kind of things he can do as a wrestler and I know what he's done as a youth rep and as a, a role model for young men and women uh, in Chukin FSM. And I know what he's done and our hearts are heavy with grief. Hitani was uh, the kind of person that uh, was really um, uh, passionate about the things that he did and uh, especially sports and uh, youth development and um, 
Uh, that's one of the things that we really uh, kind of clicked uh, because of his um, passion with helping the people of Chuk and the youth there. And um, uh, we talked about it too with his uh, and his brother too, um, Curtis. Yeah, and he will be really missed, especially uh, in Micronesia and here in Palau. When I was in Chuk High School, I was joining the basketball team. I've never been interested in basketball team, but Kitani was the one who encourages me to do more uh, kind of sport because sport is helping uh, our body healthy. Activities he did for the Chuk community, Graham served as the executive director of Ship Hoops, Society of Historic Preservation, helping ourselves outreach programs and sports, and the Koi Koi School, a charter elementary school which he helped found in his village of Pania. One of Kaitani's former teachers at Xavier, Vid Ratior, is leading an online petition to establish memorial projects that will not only honor his accomplishments, but ensure that they are carried on. Among Mr. Ratior's suggestions are an interscholastic track and field day, a Kitani Graham drug free day, a memorial scholarship, a ship hoops fund, and call for volunteers at the Akoyi Koi School. Thank you very much, Kitani. Esap much. Permit. On Fansu Karu Suere Faride Koki So Jabur. I love you, Kaydani. Thank you very much. had this to say to the people of Palau. Please forgive me, but as I write, my heart is very full and I know part is gone and may not come back. For everyone in Palau, I would like to say this. If it wasn't for Palau, people like John T, Coach Ko, and everyone who showed Keitani so much hospitality, love, kindness, sharing, helping hands. Let me also say to them, love from the Graham family. Kiniso, Kiniso, Juan Kiniso. The Graham family will never forget Palau's love for sport, expressed in deeds through the opening of their islands, homes, hearts, and hands to welcome, train, and nurture Keitani. I'm sorry, I cannot write any more right now. Love to you and to Palau.
The Olympics, London. Yeah. What do you think about it? It's a fun experience. <laughs> very, very big experience. You know, overwhelming, but it's really cool. Well, thank you very much for representing us very well today. Well, thank you. Congratulations. Later on, as, as I grew older, as my brothers and sisters grew older, and uh, you know, got involved in sports, we uh, we added the hoops, which is the uh, Helping ourselves on these programs in sports. So in those uh, programs, we do uh, do a lot of clinics and uh, sports uh, with with kids and youth. Back to you, you know, back to work with my NGO and yeah. doing all the all the community and youth work that we do back home. So looking forward to that, being a part of going back and being a part of our programs, getting the ball rolling again, too.